So the next thing that happened on NXT, we get to the next match of the night. It was Ridge Holland versus Joe Coffrey with uh, Mark Coffrey and Wolfgang Gallus at ringside. So yeah, we get to this match. And this match was okay and stuff. Joe was doing everything that he could do to try to beat Ridge Holland. Like he springboard off the second rope, second turnbuckle with a massive elbow drop only getting a two count out of it. And him and Rich Holland was beating the hell out of each other up until uh, Rich Holland tries to hit a clothesline onto him. Joe dunks it, and then Rich Holland comes back with another clothesline. And this time, Joe couldn't dunk it. He gets hit with that clothesline, and then Rich Holland picks him up, scoops him up with a, uh, like a scoop slam driver type move, power slam driver, onto Joe Coffrey, pinning him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Rich Holland defeated Joe Coffrey tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match. That's what happened. It was okay. I'll give that match one and a half stars. Actually, I'll give it two stars. That's what I'll give it. But yeah, that's what happened there. And then after that match, we see NXT Anonymous uh, watching uh, JC Jane and all of them backstage talking about Chase U and the Battle Royale and all that stuff. So yeah, that was happening backstage as well. But yeah, uh, still to come later on tonight, we'll see the number one contenders women's battle royale later on tonight to determine who will be the number one contender for the nxt women's championship at vengeance day so yeah that match is still to come later on tonight on nxt not only that we'll see the lwo uh versus chase U in the first round of the dusty Rhodes tag team classic tournament later on tonight on nxt i think that's the main event so yeah i'll see you guys later until then Actually, I forgot to mention one more part. Actually, I don't know how I missed this, which was pretty bad on my part. But uh, after a match, Rich Holland did get attacked from uh, Gallus, and they was beating the hell out of him. And, uh, you know, they kept on looking back to see if anybody was going to come out there and help him. But nobody's coming out there to help him. And we see Joe Coffrey hitting that discus clothesline onto Rich Holland. But, yeah, that's what happened there, and that was the end of it. So, yeah, see you guys later. Until then.